Well, that time of the week has come upon us again where Eddie Howe will talk to the media ahead of the game at Manchester City on Sunday. Uh, expecting quite the wounded beast on Sunday by the looks of things after their exit from the Champions League. So very, very tough game for Eddie Howe and his men. So we'll see what Eddie Howe had to say ahead of the game. Hi everyone and uh, welcome to the press conference reaction video and uh, yeah, uh, Eddie Howe spoke to the press this morning ahead of the game which of course we know is going to be very, very difficult. We know that Manchester City are, um, well, a very, very wounded beast it has to be said. Uh, they'll be looking to get uh, to get three points and of course they're still challenging for the title but they'll want to make a statement uh, and uh, it's going to be very interesting to see how we go, go against that given that Manchester City's firepower um, and all-round class around the pitch, uh, how we will cope with that. Uh, but first of all, uh, he spoke about Paul Dummett's new deal because, of course, Paul Dummett has um, now signed a one-year contract extension, so he will be around next season. Um, and what he had to say on that was he's a great personality. He's Newcastle through and through. Uh, it's very important that the characters in the squad are the highest quality, and he is. Uh, he has a lot to offer on the pitch as well. Uh, I'm really pleased to see him stay fit for a sustained period of time. Uh, he's trained really well. Uh, looking back to the Leeds game, which was pivotal for us, uh, he played him with minimal training time, and I thought he was outstanding. Uh, he's played his part, and I'm delighted he's staying. Um, so clearly from that, it looks like Eddie Howe is very, very keen on Paul Dummett. Uh, now, of course, we have Matt Target, and uh, rumours is that we've already signed him up for next season, but only time will tell on that one. Um, but for me, Paul Dummett, he's been a mainstay of the Newcastle United squad for many, many years. Uh, and for me, yeah, deserves his chance. I would have probably, uh, depending on who we brought in, of course, in the summer, uh, probably sold him on. But the fact of the matter is, uh, I think Eddie Howe sees him as a, a perfect backup to Matt Target, should we uh, sign Matt Target on a permanent basis. So either way, uh, Eddie Howe thinks the world of him, so it's clear by what he said there. Uh, so Paul Dummett, of course, staying for another season. Now on Callum Wilson, he said he's trained all week. He's trained very well. He had two really tough days and he's come through them well. Uh, he's put a lot of work in to get to this point. Uh, he looks in a good place and there's a good chance he'll be involved on Sunday. Now, Will he start? That is the question. Or will he be on the bench? Now, um, you know, you can look at it different ways. You say, well, if he's fit, he starts. You know, if he's fit to play, give him an hour. Uh, an hour is certainly better than maybe 20 minutes coming off the bench. Uh, because coming off the bench, you're never 100%. And you've got to remember that with Callum Wilson, muscle injuries and things like that. If he comes off the bench on, on Sunday and makes a quick sprint, you never know. So if he starts from the start... That maybe gives him an opportunity to, to, to blend himself into the game and, and warm up properly, if you see what I mean. And then he can um, get an hour out of him. That would be fantastic. Uh, but to have him back around the squad and in the squad is, is fantastic news. And uh, on Kieran Trippier, uh, Kieran is slightly behind Callum in that he hasn't trained every day. But when he has trained, he's done very well. We'll make a late decision on him. So again... Uh, Eddie Howe given absolutely nothing away regarding Kieran Trippier. Uh, we all thought that he was ahead of Callum Wilson when it came to fitness. It doesn't look like that. Uh, he's still a slight bit behind on uh, on where Wilson is. Uh, but I think, again, I think Kieran will be involved on Sunday. I really do. Uh, now, that might not be from the start, uh, but I do think he'd be involved in and around the squad, um, which will be great. It'll be a massive boost for the team, a massive boost for Eddie Howe, and a massive boost for the fans to see him um, to see him there so look we know how difficult the game is going to be so we need every boost we can possibly get and the return of these two will be absolutely fantastic and and pivotal to a lot of motivation going into the game um now uh on fabian share uh he says we haven't seen him this week uh we hope he'll be back uh to be available but he's not trained yet he got a knock on the top of his foot so he went for a scan after the liverpool game because it was so swollen 
uh, but fortunately, there's no fracture. Uh, I think that's what a lot of people were worried about, whether he fractured his, uh, you know, these metatarsal injuries and things like that, that obviously Kieran Trippi has recently been through. Um, it did look bad the way he hobbled off and then struggled to get down the tunnel, really. Uh, but obviously, if it was really badly swollen, you can understand that. So that's good news for Cher. Uh, now, <laughs> many people will say, what does Eddie do now? What does Eddie do? Um, and of course, you know, he's got options to go three at the back. Uh, he's got options to go uh, with Lascelles back with uh, you know Dan Byrne, um, or does he does he involve um, Emil Kraft as a as a centre back? It's a lot of decisions are to be made for Eddie Howe uh, going into the game. Um, now on Manchester City, he says from our perspective we were one hundred percent prepare for the best Manchester City, uh, so we'll have to be the best Newcastle can be. Uh, looking back to last week against Liverpool, that was disappointing thing that we just lacked a bit of intensity. Um, we've had that intensity consistently for the last two or three months, uh, and that's why we didn't get the result we wanted against Liverpool. I think if we can add that part into our game on Sunday, hopefully we can put in a good performance. Uh, so it, again, he's, he's not really... Um, Big in Manchester City up at all, not even talking about them in a way. Uh, he knows what side Manchester City are. He knows what we'll expect on Sunday. You know, at the Etihad, um, you know, fans, well, will they turn up? I don't know. Uh, that's been a case in point over the last few seasons at the Etihad, hasn't it? Uh, however, uh, you know, we'll expect a, a, a very intense Manchester City because Pep Guardiola will not accept them just sulking around that they're out the Champions League. He will expect them to come back. 100%. Absolutely so. And we've got to be ready for that. We've got to be ready for that in every single possible way. Um, now, on the NUFC uh, uh, ladies team winning at St. James's Park, he says, I did get to the game. Uh, it was a great occasion. The support that the team got was incredible. And you could see there was a great connection with the fans. Uh, congratulations to Becky and her team for their performance. Uh, we haven't been in contact yet, but I will be inviting Becky to the training ground to see how we work. Uh, I think unifying every aspect of Newcastle is important and we can only benefit from being close together. I absolutely love that comment from Eddie Howe. I mean, how can't you? You know, I mean, that is absolutely tremendous from Eddie. You know, making sure that what I like is the way he says unify Newcastle United under one umbrella. And that's exactly what Amanda Staveley uh, wants to do. It's exactly what the new owners want to do. They want to unify the whole club and bringing the ladies team on board like the have and like the will be doing is absolutely fantastic no doubt about it um so i'm really really happy about that and it's a brilliant comments from eddie um and it can only benefit becky langley as well to go and see how the men work and how they train uh, and see if there's anything that she can put into the ladies team and, and and eddie's sort of philosophy on football as well you know uh diets and 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 rest periods and and training and things like that can only benefit somebody like Becky Langley to put into the ladies team and, and, and take something on board. And hey, Eddie Howe might get something from Becky as well that he, he hasn't put into place. So I think it's fantastic. Um, so there you go. That's what Eddie had to say. Again, not bigging anybody up, was he? He's just uh, preparing for the game as he normally does, which is uh, which is fantastic. Um, it's just such a difference listening to Eddie Howe in this press conference, not bigging the opposition up, talking about our players in such a positive way, um, talking about Newcastle United in such a positive way. And that seems to happen now every single uh, press conference that he does, which is which is fabulous, really, considering what we've been through in the past. Um, you know, previous managers bigging teams up. He doesn't do that. He concentrates 100% on Newcastle United. And for me, that's the way it has to be. Uh, and he's he's driven, isn't he? He's very driven, uh, but doesn't give anything away, as we know. Um, now, a quick word on uh, St. Maximan. Now, obviously, uh, I did a video yesterday regarding uh, the the comments that he made in a French magazine, and um, uh, the Chronicle are reporting today that Eddie Howe has had a clear the air. Uh, chat with uh, St. Maximan and uh, also brought other players in as well. So um, that's very interesting that he sort of squashed that straight away. Uh, doesn't want any disruption in the dressing room. I think personally he'll have been disappointed with uh, Maxi's comments, but he's that good of a manager, isn't he? Gets them in straight away uh, and deals with it, which is fantastic to see. So well done, Eddie Howe, on that one. And uh, finally... Uh, you can now, if you're watching the videos, you can now still donate to the channel. Um, we have a, th a thanks button. So if you look underneath the video, there's a thanks button with a dollar sign. So it's similar to Super Chat, really, but you can do it on recorded videos now. 
or if you're watching a live show back and you, you weren't able to watch the live show, uh, there is also a chance for you to super chat now. So um, if you like to donate to the channel, uh, and uh, I'm very appreciative to everybody that does, obviously, um, you can hit that thanks button with the dollar sign next to it, and that'll take you through uh, to donate to the channel. So a massive, massive thank you in advance to everybody that does that. It's a brand new feature on the channel, which uh, YouTube have given me, which I'm delighted for. Um, so if you um, if you want to appreciate the channel and appreciate what we do here, then obviously you can do it now on the recorded videos and the uh, uh, watch back of the live shows. So just hit the thanks button and that'll take you through. So thank you massively in advance for that as well. And uh, thank you very much for watching the video. Uh, if, you, uh, if you do like it, then please do hit that thumbs up button and let YouTube know that something good is happening on the channel. If you're brand new to the channel... And you like what you see, please do consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell, which will uh, let you know every time we upload a video or we schedule a live show. Uh, so thank you very much for doing that. Uh, let me know in the comments below, as usual, what you think about what Eddie had to say. And uh, are you confident going into Sunday's game uh, with the possible return of Callum Wilson and Kieran Trippier? So let me know. Um, if you're watching this on Friday, join us tonight, uh, 8 p.m. for the uh, live match preview with myself, Billy, Danielle and Alex. Uh, and also on Sunday, 4 o'clock start for the live watch along. Uh, alternative commentary from myself uh, of the game at the Etihad on Sunday afternoon. So knock the uh, commentary off Sky, watch the game and listen to me commentating uh, for an unbiased view of the game. Uh, but thank you very much. Have a cracking weekend, everybody. Be kind and we'll see you soon. Oh, <laughs> no,